Hey, do you know what time it is? Oh, that's right. It's plastic surgery time. Oh, hey, you just happened to catch me while I was cleaning up. COVID-19 is here, and we're going to talk about masks today. Today is my public service announcement regarding masks. Okay, so the CDC says you need to wear masks in public. Go to cdc.gov, find out if that's the right website. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to check right now. I don't have my phone. I am not checking right now, but I'm going to put it up right here for the website you should go to to check what mask you should be wearing. Now, you need to wear a mask in public. I'm not going to judge. This is going to be a great video for me because I get to rant and rave. If you want to wear an N95 mask in public, though right now it's suggested that healthcare professionals wear it, I'm not going to judge you. If you may have a pre-existing illness, you may be immunocompromised, you may be elderly, you just may be worried about getting infected, then it's okay if you were able to get an N95 mask for you to wear it. Again, other people may judge, I won't. But what will upset me, and what does upset me, is when you get this mask, which healthcare professionals are really trying to get, and you just wear it plain wrong, because then it's not effective. And then you've just wasted a mask you could have donated to someone who could help save a life or do something positive with it. So if you're gonna wear it, wear it right. So an N95, when it's done properly, needs a fit test. That's where you put it on, they put a nice hood over your head, they inject some nasty smelling stuff, and they ask you, can you smell it? Once you've passed that fit test, it means you've put on the mask, you scrunched it down, and you have it sitting in a seal all around. Now, I haven't shaved on purpose. Why? See this stubble? This stubble will not allow for a proper seal. I am not going to get 95% of filtration of particles with this mask, with this stubble. With a beard, you're not going to get it. So, if you're going to wear this mask, I'm not saying you shave, but just know you have a beard, you have a stubble, you're not getting full efficacy. So with a full beard on, I'd have to ask you, is it really any better to wear this than this? No one knows. That is your right to choose, but you're making a decision based on the fact you're not using this 100% properly. So most N95 masks, this is a 3M N95 mask, will have a metal bridge and a nose piece, okay? Even if it doesn't have this nose piece like this or it's not circular, it has some type of fitting which allows you to mold it into place. So if you're wearing your mask, just don't throw your mask over and not mold the, now, the nose piece because then you haven't created a seal. Mold this into place so it fits along your face. And please don't do this. This is not effective. You're letting all the air enter from here and that's a waste of a mask. Also, as we saw on a local news station here in Miami, they were great when a woman ranted and raved on how people need to wear masks. She took her N95, and if you put it on like this, I can't even do it. Like this, sideways. I don't even know what you're trying to do with this. You're probably catching more virus inside and attempting to kill yourself. So please don't wear it like this. So, how are we gonna wear it properly? First strap is gonna go over our head, okay? Next strap is gonna go on top of our head. We're gonna make sure this nose piece is fitted right. This is here. Now, this lower strap, depending on how big your face is, can go in the back of your neck, or it can go, if you really want a good fit, up on the top. The whole concept is you have this mask sealed all around. So the only way you can breathe is through this. Let me be 100% honest with you. As someone who's operated in an operating room on children at a high temperature with one of these masks on, if you can breathe through this mask for two hours and be happy, you're not wearing it right. You should be miserable. Current guidelines is you should have some sort of face protection when you're out in public. If you're wearing your N95 and you're going to be reusing it, 
you may want to cover it with a cloth mask, a bandana, and that's just to prevent any type of significant bacterial load, viral load, or wet or moisture or anything like that. You also want to take care of this mask, wipe it down very gently, do not soak it because then you're going to change how it filters and then that's not worth it either. Also for those of you people running or jogging, if you're running and jogging with a lot of people, you could possibly wear this, but it's going to really make it hard to breathe and you may end up having an issue because of that. And you can see how much I love to breathe with this thing on. All right, so I've seen people in their cars wearing masks. I'm not quite sure why. Unless you're transporting a COVID patient or you're worried about a carrier of COVID in your car with you, wearing a mask in your car is not necessarily helpful, but could hurt depending on how much you're driving around. Trying to breathe through this for an hour is gonna get difficult. And if it's not difficult because you're not wearing it right, the other issue you're going to get is the more you talk, the more you breathe, you will get moisture in these masks. You have to remember, these were meant for one time use. One time. You're now going to be reusing this mask. You're going to get a moisture in the mask and it's going to make it less effective where it's going to make it either more difficult to breathe through or it's going to make it easier to breathe through but destroy the filtering capability of the mask. So unless you're really using it, just like the medical professionals, you should be switching either something like this, a cloth mask, or again, in your car, no mask. Okay, so we're about to finish up with my public service announcement for masks. Hang on a second. That is not an intelligent move. It is not. I called a friend of mine, actually he called me, he was at Costco, and someone was smoking through their mask. Does this make any sense to you? If you're using a mask, it's to protect yourself. Please think about what you're doing. Now, we talked about putting on the mask, wearing it right, making sure we have a nice seal, breathing, not keeping it on for too long, possibly cleaning it, leaving it in the sun with UV also does help, though I'm not gonna say you're gonna be able to sterilize your mask at home. That I can't tell you. What I am gonna to talk to you about now is taking off your mask. If you've been in public and you are worried that you are with people who may have COVID-19, you can't just put your hand on this mask and just pop it right off, unless you're gonna wash your hand. You would either need to have gloves to take off the mask, or you need to make sure as soon as you get the mask off, you're gonna put it in a place where you know that you're gonna treat it like it's infected and you're gonna come back and clean it and you're also gonna be able to wash your hands right away, okay? You also don't wanna be touching your face. If you're wearing a mask, it doesn't absolve you of the need not to touch your face and to touch your mask and touch your face. So, you know, if this is itching down here and the mask isn't fitting right and you go like this to fit this right, but then you go like this or this, you've somewhat defeated the purpose. So to get this mask off, you can put one hand on the mask. Remember, this is an absolute dirty hand. You can take off the straps. You're not gonna touch your face. You're gonna put your mask down and you're gonna go and wash your hands and not touch anything else. Once these hands are washed, you're gonna come back to your mask, which is dirty again, and you're gonna wipe it down. This is a process. If you've made the decision to wear the mask and do this right, this is a process. Okay? I'm glad you're watching the video. Please pass it on. Wear your masks. Wear them right. If you're not going to wear them right, give them to someone who will. We'll all get through this.